listen, we got a we got a bear tier list on our hands, all right? I done seen it all. We did the wear tier list. Listen, the the orca whale, they they like the OP humans of the water, all right? Let's look what this bear tier list is busting like. Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. Honey K Hala, chillin' Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good, Holla Squad? We are whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Listen, we are the little squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, today we're back with another reaction. And we got the bear tier list in a building. All right. What kind of bear is truly the best? Now I gotta be like the poly the poly bear. What what is going on with my words today? It's probably the polar bear. Or the grizzly bear. It got to be one of them two. I'm pretty sure it's not the black bear. Those are my assumptions at the beginning. But before you hop into this, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And uh, let's get it. AFL or Outback Truckers? We might react to that later. Look at my man Yogi Bear, boy. Question. What kind of bear is best? Every so often, the metagame of Outside breaks into the mainstream for a bit. Famous examples include the Choose Two puzzle, or the horse-sized duck, or a hundred duck-sized horses meme. But perhaps the most famous example is this One horse-sized duck versus a hundred duck-sized horses. I'm taking the horses, bro. Simple question posed by Jim Halpert it's the polar bear. in Season 3, we Episode see. 21 we of see. The Office, where he asks what kind of bear is best. But before we answer that, let's take a step back and hear how Dwight responds. There are basically two schools of thought. He doesn't get to finish his sentence before he gets cut off, but he's right. There are two schools of thought. Those being the generalist approach and the specialist approach. So which school of thought is better when trying to optimize a bear build? I think the best way to answer that is to outline each approach's most relevant members and rank each of them on a tier list. Okay. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get it, Perhaps let's get it. one of the most famous examples of a specialist bear is the panda. I don't think many players would dispute that pandas are- I feel like when I be thinking of bears, I be forgetting the pandas, bruh. I ain't gonna lie. Easily one of the worst builds in the current meta. What they will dispute is why. A lot of players think that pandas are garbage because they have an extremely low respawn rate. But pandas actually give birth just as often as other bears. Yes, it's rare, but that hasn't stopped the higher tier bears. What's really holding these bears back is their absolute dependence on bamboo. Of all the specialized ah, yeah. bears, pandas are by far the most over-specialized. The combination of stats and abilities they've I wonder got why they made only it so even uh, if bamboo, they decided though. to stop being strict herbivores and pursue a more generalist approach, they can't really do it without a massive respec. They've got mm. the bite force comparable to lions and tigers, but with mobility and stealth as low as theirs, there's no way they'd ever be able to make use of it against <laughs> another player. Pandas use most of their evolution points on their special ability Pseudothumb, a bony-like appendage that allows them to better hold on to bamboo. The rest of their evolution points, I assume, were spent on their ridiculous palette swap. This is the only bear I could even consider being below average. Bro, I, I, I am upset. All right. Now y'all know what animal I'm about to, to mention. <laughs> the ostrich. Get the ostrich out of here, bro. It was F tier. I'd I be surprised. All right. And again, I am surprised that the panda, I forgot it was even a bear, to be honest. But I thought it would at least be like DC tier. F tier is claiming some of my favorites. The black widow spider. The uh, the, the brown recluse. F tier just claiming everything that I thought was superior. This is crazy. We have to jump all the way up to C tier before we get to the next lowest bear. Next on the tier list, we have the sloth bear. So you can't eat there. Listen. The polar bear down bad, boy. And the sun bear. These bears use another specialist type build, this time focusing on insects. Now, sloth bears and sun bears are miles ahead of the panda in viability. Insects, especially beehives, are a great source of XP, assuming you can tank the damage from the stings. Not only that, That's but unlike bamboo, insects are pretty much everywhere. So habitat loss due to a human builder player doesn't pose as big a problem to them as it does for pandas. What keeps them down is that although they're great at tearing into well-fortified ant and bee bases, they're actually not very good at defending themselves. That's tough. They have losing matchups against every <laughs> other key player in their region, including pythons, leopards, doles, and tigers. And for that, Dulls. I have to place them in C tier. The highest ranking specialist type bear on our list is the polar bear. The polar bear is one of the biggest land predators in the entire game, but despite their ridiculously high power stat, they have pretty bad matchups against the other popular arctic classes. I've actually done an entire video on the Arctic meta, which you can watch here, but the long and short of it is that their immense strength doesn't really come in handy that much, 
since their best strategy to score a limbs on seals is to catch them off guard when they come up to recharge their stamina gauge. That's tough. <laughs> they don't have the mobility to chase seals down in the water, nor do they have the strength to defeat walruses on land. So in my opinion, there's far too much luck involved in the... So the polar bear is B tier. Alright, so that leaves me with the grizzly bear for my prediction to be S tier. Alright. Polar bear gameplay to write them in. How, how, how the polar bear getting pieced up by a freaking walrus, bro? That's crazy. Any higher than B tier. So that's all the specialist bears. Now we're on to the generalist bears. Generalist builds, if done right, will oh, pretty much koala. always outclass their specialized counterparts since they're much more prepared to cope with the rapid shifts of the meta. Like, for example, if human players need materials to build their forts, or if okay. the ice starts to melt. In addition, these neck builds differ from the others because they've got the bear's signature move, hibernate. Hibernation is key to the success of the bear players, because it allows them to completely skip the time of year that they're least suited to. Mm. Now, this does incur some difficulty on the player, since if they fail to collect enough loot to get them through the winter, hibernation will actually drain their HP and possibly even lead to a game over. But oh, if the bear's soft. abilities are used correctly, this shouldn't be too big an issue. The first of the generalist bears on our list is the brown bear. Brown bears have one of the highest power stats in the game, with their sheer force being outclassed only by bull cattle and elephant builds. They've also got fairly high mobility. Hold up! There's a thing called a home run bat. Max hit blunt first force. A home run bat. Do they mean like a baseball bat or like a bat? I need to know, bro. I need to know. Outclassed only by bull cattle and elephant bills. They've also got fairly high mobility, although it can't quite match that of the wolves or elk that they share a server with. But both of these stats are put to good use because of the animal's high intelligence, one of the highest among solitary builds. This oh. lets bears use their strength to successfully raid the treasure Thank chests. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Build. Now, unlike its more specialized counterparts, it doesn't have the same venom resistances that would allow the sun bear and sloth bear to easily take out you social insect players. So it's certainly not invincible by any stretch. My man got about it here, boy. Consistencies by doing what it does best: <laughs> griefing salmon mains. The Salmon Questline's final objective is to return to their spawn point, and unfortunately this exploit is pretty common knowledge among the bear subreddits and whatnot. Brown bears have almost as good a matchup against fish as ospreys do. It's really unfair, honestly. There are a few varieties of brown bear, of which the grizzly is actually the weakest, sitting at the high end of A tier. Is it a black bear? What could be S tier, bro? It's gotta be a bear, I don't know. It might be the black bear, though, because brown bear, grizzly bear, you failed me, all right? You at the bottom tier of the, uh, of, the, of the brown bears. Listen, my predictions aren't what they seem, bro. These days, I'm just learning new things, and everything I learned in the past was incorrect. That's why I need tier zoo, bro. The strongest variety of brown bear, the Kodiak bear, can just barely sneak its way into S tier, along with the last bear on our list, the black bear. Black bears are true champions of adaptability. When the Anthropocene I can't even dropped, a showboat, every bro. other North American bear <laughs> actually quit the server, including one of the Ice Age meta's top tiers, the Cave Bear. Cave Bears and the Florida Spectacled Bear were both specialists that were unable to adapt to the new meta, but the Black Bear player base has flourished. This is thanks to having- Bro, we seen the video of the Cave Bear. Them joints was like 20 feet tall, Joey Daddy, Chef Knuckle swinging demons, all right? And the black bears got him out of here. Yeah, I don't want no smoke with the black bears, bro. I ain't never going back to the Smoky Mountains again, okay? Having slightly scaled back versions of all the brown bears' abilities, plus extremely high arboreal mobility. This allows them to get access to valuable loot sources, such as tree nuts, beehives, and bird's nests. So yeah, Jim is kinda right when he says the classic line, False. Black bear. Skills are essential for any effective when he's such a extremely high I need y'all to see how fast this bear got up this tree, all right? Arboreal mobility. This allows them to get access to valuable loot sources such as tree nuts. My man just just climbed like 40 feet in like four seconds. I'm good. I ain't going back outside. Beehives and bird's nests. Mm. So yeah, Jim is kind of right when he says the classic line. False. Black bear. Skills are essential for any effective character, but instead of spending millions of years saving up the evolution points necessary to get them, 
You can unlock skills right now by using Skillshare. Yes, sir. Skillshare Skill is an Share. online learning community. I ain't gonna lie, Skillshare ain't sponsored the Holla Squad, so you know what I'm saying? Listen, the bear tier list is tough, all right? Now, the only bear that I have seen in person, all right, is a black bear. And now, realizing that they're actually the most dangerous, I'm never going back to where I've seen them. I was driving through Gatlinburg, you know what I'm saying? Heading out of Gatlinburg, going to Pigeon Forge. We bent the little corner. If you ever been there, you know what I'm saying? You bent the little corner. And uh, there was a black bear right there. Now, I was inside a car. Couldn't get to me. But uh, I know they up there. So, like, the last couple times I went up there, I stayed in cabins. And all I know is they got black bears. And I'm not ready to go up against something crawling up a tree like that. So, I will not be back. But uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this down below. Have y'all ever seen a bear in person? They said they made them quit the North American server, bro. We got stuck with the most elite bear ever. Usually Africa. You know what I'm saying? The African server got the most S-tier bills. But the, the bear S-tier build wanted to come up here and mess with us. That's tough. Listen. And the fact that they got the cave bear out of there. I don't want no smoke, all right? But listen, y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Let me know, you know what I'm saying, what you would do if you came face-to-face -face with Black Bear, all right? I'm sending myself to the lobby, bro. <laughs> I'm going to be playing lobby simulator for the rest of time, all right? But uh, I'm going to see y'all in the next vid. Y'all out of here.